what is up guys welcome back to Ike Tech and Gaming and today we're doing our first unboxing uh, not really a review just an unboxing of uh, actually a hard drive that I'm going to put in my computer but it is our very first one of the uh, new channel so let's jump right in here we've got our box from Newegg got my knife here open it up Alright, and inside you've got the uh, big foam packaging. Set the box off to the side because I don't need it. And we'll open up. These things are so cool. It's like a little case for my stuff. Like a balloon. And here's our brand new Barracuda Seagate 1 terabyte hard drive. That's right. Open it. We got our sticker. All done. Look at that shiny new hard drive. Brand spanking new. Now we are gonna go put it in our computer. But actually, we are going to clean the computer first. But the cleaning of my computer, because I'm going to be shipping it down to Florida for the holidays where I'll be recording videos, um, I'm going to be cleaning it before I go down there. So the cleaning will actually not be included in this video, so you guys will have to go check out that video. If that video is uh, out, there will be a link in the description to this video to go check that video out. But for now, we will skip the cleaning and we'll hop right over to putting this in the computer. So, I'll see you then. Alrighty guys, we're back inside. Does this place look a little familiar? Yeah, this is where we built the computer on my workbench. We are going to um, install the hard drive here that I got. Now, my first hard drive is here. That is my boot drive. Now, I want to install this up, next one up here. So, I'm going to discharge myself on a metal surface. I don't think any of these are really exposed metal. So that's bad. So I'm going to touch anything metal that I can before I touch computer components because static electricity is really bad for computer components. Now I'm going to set that down. We're going to take this toolless thing off of here, maybe. There we go. Alright, so a lot of the pieces in this case are toolless which means you don't have to like screw stuff in so for this case all I had to do was take my hard drives and just slide them in like so until it sits flat like that and um, then we take these little things and it lines up with the screw holes on the side and then it just pops back in place and it's not going anywhere and then there's also little rubber pieces that keep the vibration from the hard drives to a minimal because hard drives actually if you didn't know hard drives are a big uh, source of noise because of the vibrations that they make so that is our new Barracuda one terabyte hard drive that I'm going to be using for video storage solely, um, like video and photo, so I don't have to clutter my boot drive with all that. Um, so all you got to do with these cases, so you just take the hard drive and you just slot it in, and that's good to go, except for the fact that we've got to plug it in. Now we had a problem with the old cable, it didn't stretch the right distance and I barely fit it for the other things so I had to unplug it from the optic the power cable the um, whatever this one is I'm obviously not up to par with the names of the plugs but the the long serial power cable that powers everything so there's one exactly like this already in the case 
but it can't I can't get it to stretch to both hard drives and the optical drive all the way up here at the same time so what I had to do is unplug the other one and just use that one for these two hard drives and then I will plug this one in and route it just up to the optical drive so I also have my uh, SATA cable here which will plug into the hard drive to give it uh, information so first let's plug in the SATA cable alright we'll put it like that and then we are gonna run the cable how do I want to run the cable Let's run it actually through here. All right. And this time I learned my lesson. I put paper towels down underneath the feet so it doesn't make that awful grinding noise when I spin it. It just makes a nice little shh, shh noise. All right. um, and that. Guide that up this way. all the way up and plug it in bam alright so that is connected now we need to take our power cable make sure It is all lined up correctly and plug it in. Now there's a lot of tension on these cables and it's going to be bad for them so I've got to make sure that I cable manage everything right because I don't want to break anything obviously that would be bad. But all that seems to be in good shape. Spin it back around. Now we'll take this other cable here. We're going to plug it into the power supply. Right like that. And then how I'm going to route this, I'm not sure. I don't really want to put anything around back anymore because I've got so much back there already. And it's starting to get very cluttered. So what I'm going to do, I've been using these optical, the optical drive bay. I'm going to route that through there. And then where can I go? I don't want to go out the back anymore. I um, guess I'm just going to have to come back out this direction. Up here. And like that. And plug one of them in. I'll plug this. No. We'll put these all back in there. Actually. Let's put this underneath that, since that is pushing against it. This is like a giant puzzle. I'm trying to figure out where the best place for everything to go is. Plug it in. Coolio. That is all done. Coolio, Julio. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today, guys. If you would like to see the full video, including me cleaning my case and doing a couple of other things, click the link in the description. Until then, leave a like if you like this, dislike if you dislike this, and leave me a comment telling what you would like to see more of, what you thought of this video, and anything else you want to tell me about. And as always, subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on all of my awesome videos, including the one that's coming up soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya later.